world, I'm Maya Sundermeyer, and I would like to welcome you to the latest episode of my vlog series. So far, I have been able to share my own experiences with you guys on what it's like for me to live with Asperger Syndrome. A second thing that I will do is give my two cents on what's going on with autism and the media. A third area entails providing tips and advice for those of you who are on the autism spectrum, as well as those of you who are friends, families, peers, mentors, educators, job coaches, and anybody in general as well as doing things that are off topic. Now before I get into the meat of today's topic, what I would like to do first is mention two things. So first and foremost, I'm going to recommend that you guys check out Daniel Wendler's TED Talk. Now Daniel Wendler is a young man that I met at the um, Matthew Reard and Autism Conference back in uh, February, and he is an entrepreneur of, of a website called ImproveYourSocialSkills.com, and he has already successfully written and published one book on his experiences of living with autism, so please be sure to check him out. A second thing that I would like to do is recommend that you check out my scholarly blogs on WordPress.com, and you can find those under helloworld240.wordpress.com. That's helloworld240.wordpress.com. So anyway, what I would like to do topic-wise is first and foremost, talk about a click. So basically, what is a click? Well, they basically are a, a group of people with a, a certain uh, set of uh, beliefs, morals, standards, and social norms that other people don't really quite get. And a social clique often will have a queen bee, and there's somebody who will like to set the rules, and they basically include that you have to talk a certain way, dress a certain way, act a certain way, behave a certain way, you have to do certain things to be part of the group, and so on and so forth. And then what you, you have the bodyguards who will uh, stand up for the uh, queen bee no matter what. And what the bodyguard will do is they will protect the queen bee from un anybody who will stand up or stand against the, their actions and their behaviors. And you also have the followers who look up to the, uh, the queen bee for this or that and they will dress like them, talk like them, act like them. They can even um, follow them enough to um, hurt other people who they are supposed to be friends with because the queen bee doesn't like them. And the reason why I wanted to talk about cliques is because neurotypicals are not the only group of people that are uh, cliques and uh, they are people who are certainly not the bullies. And I wanted to bring that forward because I have seen plenty of individuals on the autism spectrum who are mild, that have Asperger's syndrome, who have gotten together and formed a clique. And it isn't only just people with Asperger's syndrome. I've seen individuals of other types of physical situations or ADHD that have gotten together and formed cliques and anybody who didn't fit in, they would push out. And I uh, continue to see this more and more every day. And it is amazing because these are individuals who uh, you think would understand when they th you think that there would be a time where they form all kinds of communities, but rather they would want to turn and bully the other person. And I hate to break it to those of you who have Asperger's syndrome, because what you guys are doing is a form of bullying. And I know that you aren't hitting anybody. I know that you aren't calling them names. I know that you aren't blocking them on Facebook and spreading ugly rumors about them. I know that you aren't necessarily uh, calling them up on the phone and playing nasty jokes on them. But you are bullying them by a way of omission. And that means that you are exploiting them and that you are excluding them. It is absolutely not okay. And what I wanted to do was um, provide tips and advice on something that I learned to do when I was 24. So back during those days, I was living with my aunt and I was attending a uh, social skills group where they had parties every, uh, I don't remember, I think it was like every, every Thursday or Thursday Night Live. And every single week they had a planned event where we would get together and watch a movie or play cards or they would have a party whatever and 
I wanted to form a social clique with a group of people who had mild Asperger's syndrome like myself because I thought that it would be really cool. Well, the behavior specialist slash behaviorist, in addition to my aunt, frowned upon that because the, they wanted us to get out of our comfort zones and reach out to those people who really you know, needed a friend and really needed somebody to uh, get them out of their shells. And I think that's what my aunt and what this uh, behavior specialist was trying to teach me as an individual. And uh, for those of you that are forming cliques, how in the world, uh, you know, for, is you, for you as Aspies, are going to get out of your comfort zones and help those out that really need a friend? And, and why in the world, uh, as somebody who's been picked on yourself and bullied by your friends and family, why are you picking on those who are different? who are no different than you are. So, anyway, I'm out of time. I would like to recommend a few things. So, first and foremost, do not forget to comment below. Please be sure to subscribe to my channel. Also, be sure to uh, share this on Facebook, Twitter, Vine, any form of social media with your social groups, uh, teachers, educators, with your friends and your peers and your mentors. And also, do not forget to, uh, to follow me on Twitter at summergirl43. You may also uh, check out my uh, blog page on facebook.com, which is also labeled as Hello World. Until next time, I'm Maya Sundermeyer, and I'm signing off.